given them three days. I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to make this the best you can, because I am going to crit you at the end of this. They must each choose a design that can be completed within the allotted time and their individual skill level. I'd rather do a simple thing. Mm. Oh. Properly. Properly. <laughs> you know, you could have that, look. Could I do that? Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah, but, but that is lovely. It is lovely. I do like it. Yeah? Okay, Abby has so far been the best at cutting, but has struggled with her accuracy. I've chosen something that's perhaps a little bit more simple because the challenge lies in precision and its pattern. And if a pattern looks irregular, it's going to be awful. But James seems to be more intent on following his own agenda than the brief. I'm going to take a section of this drawing. Right, OK. And what size are you going to blow it up to? You must remember... 640 mil square. I don't know. Ooh, OK. I think you're stretching yourself. Yeah, make it smaller because you're just not going to get it cut in three days. I mean, I'm not overly concerned if it's finished. I'd rather just have a go at something I, I kind of enjoy. I do say that you have to finish it. Otherwise, no one's going to take this seriously. He fails if he doesn't finish, you know? It's wrong. I don't expect... It's not, you know, what's the point of the exercise? What's the point of being here? Unless you actually uh, fulfil the brief. Although they each have exactly the same time to complete the task, Val elects to make a panel of 27 pieces. Abby, 37, and James, 47. Oh, look at that. That's safe. For the next few days, these panels will fully test the trainees' skills in the studio. You've got beautiful cutting skill. I must admit, I actually really, really like it. Yeah? Yeah. But so they can experience the inevitable multitasking of a professional glazer, Sophie adds to their pressure with some extra homework. Stained glass has always been about portraying some kind of message, mm. you know? It's a very rich medium to work in. So I want you to go away from today and come up with a design. The homework. Yeah, that's your homework. It's the first brief I like. <laughs> Lovely. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. To help inspire and inform their designs for a story window, Sophie takes them on a tour of some modern examples in the company of stained glass expert Caroline Swash. That is quite some window. Mm. These golden ribbons represent the five sacred brothers, really, who offered themselves in death, but actually lived. And they are the ones who are crucial founders, really, of, of Sikhism. You look at the orange, which totally coils and moves and is beautifully fluid, and you can see it moving over each other. If you look at the blue, which is quite safe and is behind, the blue and the orange make individual shapes on their own in each square and the shapes which are outside of the main context are also just as important mm. as the design itself. Whenever you're designing glass, you have to remember that usually, especially in the public building, the people who view it are never static. And nowhere exemplifies this sense of people in constant motion more than a modern train station. Hey, 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 look! <laughs> there now. So in the centre, that's the new escutcheon of Uxbridge. And then the two supporting boroughs, Middlesex, and on the other side is Buckinghamshire. It's saying something very positive to the people who live here. So they're coming back from work to their town, and that is greeting them. And that says home, but it says home with status. Yeah. So it's similar in tradition to the Tudor era, there were coats of arms which were in the grand houses to show that you were absolutely marvellous. So this is a public work which is saying the same thing. This is a really accomplished field which we're attempting to dip our toe into. So there is an element of inspiration coupled with a sort of humble feeling. Following their field trip, the three trainees start work on their own designs. I think the task set by Sophie is really interesting. I think working in stories kind of gives everything another level, opposed to just being ornamental. It becomes far, far more interesting for anyone to read into something or an idea or a concept. 
I'm really excited because it is the first time we're going to be allowed to use our own creativity. Uh, of course, at the same time, I feel like I'm back at college and suddenly my creativity is going to be under the spotlight. But it's what I've been waiting for. I don't have any idea what I'm going to do yet. It'll suddenly come to me, but uh, a good night's sleep and I'll <laughs> be there. The next morning, it's back to the studio. Though the trainees are all clearly itching to express themselves creatively, they first need to finish their Victorian panels to a high standard within the set time. I'm being super critical on you because you really don't have long to grasp this. OK. The schedule is asking a lot from them, but essential if they want to become good enough to make a stained glass window fit for public scrutiny. But it proves too much for Val. I'm very sorry, but you're going to have to go back and cut that. Never mind, it's all right. right. No, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Val? I feel like it. Val, another thing. Come here, Jake. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. really annoyed with myself, but the pressure of the time is what I don't seem to... You know, that's what then, the minute I know, I've, and I know that's part of it, but the minute I know I've got a time, and then I suddenly think, oh, I can't do this. I start rushing, I've got to get finished. And then I just make silly mistakes. With time running out and still much work needed by all three to finish their panels, there's no choice but to work late into the night. What do you think is really important after this two-week stage to enable them to progress onto the next stage? I'd like to have a crit with them on their windows of what they've produced so far and actually hone in on the areas of their weakness. After burning the midnight oil, Abby did complete her Victorian panel and she's the first to surface to find out how she's done. What you have is a lovely looking piece. I think it looks fantastic, but looking closely, you can see through all sorts of places, aren't yeah. it? Probably because this lead was too long. It doesn't have contact with the glass. No. Yeah? This square here... See through that one as see well. See through that one. But also, we've got a little bit of see through here. Mm -hmm. I can also see solder over the joint. Yeah. These are all things which you know how to do because you can do them everywhere else. You've just been rushing. Next in is James, who, despite choosing easily the most difficult panel to make, did manage to finish it in time. Firstly, your lead lines are slightly short. They're slightly short um, in the smallest ones, because mm. this, this, these were such a struggle okay. to kind of see to this bend one the here. Lead in those this forms. one misses this horizontal lead yep. by quite a considerable amount. Um, I think the glass is cut relatively well. That, the, the, there were these corners here which the, the lead ought to have come down to follow, so that would need to have been a more acute angle. Yeah. The, the cutting of the glass is what I spent most of my time on. And I think actually. that you've mastered, and you're one of the only students that can tap a glass for the start of a cut, and he manipulates the cut with his fingers, which is an extraordinary technique taken up by someone so young in the trade. So you got that? Got that. Yeah. <laughs> the, thing that. Most, on to the thing I spent most <laughs> time on. Well, it's perhaps um, there's a connection between yeah. those two things. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, it is Val's turn, who, despite choosing the simplest design of the three, okay. failed to complete it within the deadline. When I saw this last, Val had done a beautiful job. All this glazing here is, it was exceptional, yeah? Was or is? Was, because the glazing last night that took place, it looks like that you were rushed and there's some kind of stained glass atrocity going on there. <laughs> in the end, I just was so tired, I thought, just finish it off and learn something in the process, but I will never rush again like that. You need just to be able to crack I just that. need time for yeah. the stop. Again, another thing. Another time. time. Another yeah. time issue. The group clearly felt a pressure to finish things at the expense of quality, but to master the craft, they need to work both accurately and quickly. 
your standards are so high、mm. compared to theirs,、mm. and you've somehow got to get them up to your standards.、Mm. I can't pass any of those windows no, upstairs. No, I can't let them、no. out of the studio. I couldn't dare ask money for them. It's radical, but I suggest scrapping the project they're doing and spending the rest of this week working on basics. Oh God, I'd love that. Yeah. I don't think there should be any design element in it at all.、Mm. It's all technical. I mean, the final project they've got to make something that, as you say, has、mm. got to be go out of your studio.、Mm. Yeah, yeah. Properly.、Exactly. With the Victorian panels now completed, the group have eagerly moved on to working on their own designs, but not for long. Can we have your full, undivided attention? I'm abandoning this project that you're working on. Keep the cut lines on your bench. Take a segment of ten inches that you like, and that's challenging. You will then offer the drawing to the person on your right. So what you will do is make each other's design, and you've got all week to do that. All the focus will be on the quality, not the content. So the idea that we've had for the story is irrelevant. Okay. Go. I totally see the point about kind of our weakness in the actual making, but. The thing that interests me is the story and the craft mixed together. To refocus the group on craft rather than creativity, they must each hand over a ten-inch section of their design. Just been given James's cut line. So part of James's window depicting St Matthew will now be cut by Abby. I'm quite looking forward to getting stuck into some precise glass cutting. A section of Abby's design depicting the Big Bang Theory will now be cut by Val, and part of Val's design depicting the evils of the demon drink will be cut by James. It's not any different to copying anything out of the book because it's still not your own baby. Traditionally, an apprentice would work for five years, steadily perfecting their skills, but after four fast-track weeks, the trainees are now realising that some things just can't be rushed. I actually feel that it's. A Pretty good idea that we've gone back to basics on the cutting and the skills because we would have struggled again to meet the deadline and we would have struggled again with the actual craft. And perhaps no one has benefited more from the slack and pace than Val. Val is doing a very meticulous job now. Don't you think it's brilliant? Yeah, I'm very pleased I've actually finished. You know that is so Art Deco. She really grasped the aspect of what to do whilst cutting glass. Having proved their commitment to the craft, Sophie gives her charges the evening off and shares with them a rather different type of glass. Cheers. 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 When they present the results of their final task, you are going to be designing and working out what will go in glass in that long, thin strip of empty space above the doors. This is an absolutely fabulous spot for glass. And now I'd like Cathy, who's head, to tell you about what she would like to have in the windows. Thank you, and welcome to the Harris Academy at Peckham today.、Um, this is our reception area, and what I'm sort of looking for in terms of a design for the windows is something that reflects the ethnic diversity of the academy.、Um, our students and our staff come from many different countries of the world. One of the other things that I'd like to see here is I really want this to feel a very sort of warm and welcoming area,、mm -hmm. and I think colour is, is quite important in that. Looking at these, you should realise that they are going to be divided each of the Openings into three, with as it were a central opening and two flanks, and it is one of those squares that you're going to make up into glass, but you're going to be designing for the whole run, and that you will be presenting for judgment by Cathy. The idea is that the winner will then go on and do the whole lot. I'm over the moon now that we're actually going to be able to execute our own design ideas. So I'm really excited about that. Finally, it would be fantastic to have something installed、um, that could potentially be there for hundreds of years or whatever. It, whatever. It, I don't know how long the school will last, but potentially for a long time. 
To be truthful, I'm not 100% happy with 